Hello people, welcome you all. My name is Daniel, I am MVP in Connected System Developer and I work as Technical Leader at Tech Results. I'm here to present to you the second lesson uh, of our series about Workflow Foundation for ASP.NET developers. Let's review quickly the whole series. We had already our first lesson. Uh, an introduction to workflow for uh, workflow foundation for ASP.NET developers and now it's our second lesson uh, today we are going to learn about developing custom activities to workflow foundation our today agenda is first understand an activity what an activity is uh, and then understand the activity library that means the activities that comes with workflow foundation after that, let's, let's understand the power of custom activities. Why should we develop and learn about custom activities? After that, to create a custom activity, we need to understand the anatomy of an activity. And finally, let's create uh, custom activities to our page flow solution. So let's get started and let's understand our first topic, understanding activity. So why do we hear so much about activities when we are studying Workflow Foundation because uh, an, an activity is a basic unit of execution inside the workflow. You can think in a, of a workflow as a tree of activities and each step in the workflow is, a, is an activity being executed. And just like when we are using object-oriented programming uh, and when we look at our class diagram, the objects must reflect the business of the application. In the same way, when you look at our workflow, uh, the activities must reflect the business of the application. For instance, if you have an application to manage documents, probably you will have a create a document activity, probably you will have a approval document activity. So, that's what that's what an activity is. To make the developer's life easier, uh, workflow workflow foundation provides uh, an activity library. It's a set of all of, of the box activities that comes with workflow foundation. There we have activities like a uh, code activity. The code activity executes an amount of code uh, developed in the event handler. The if else activity you can use to make a decision inside your workflow. You have the while activity. It works just like the the while in a C sharp code. We have the call external method. We we learned about it in the previous lesson. We also have the handle external event. We also we also learned about in the previous lesson. But even though we have many activities in this library they usually they are not enough to create a system because they are generic activities that Microsoft developed to developers to use it but you have to create activities that deal with, deal with your business and you can use this activity library as a base to create your activities and to create your workflow so to create uh, powerful workflows and good custom activities, you have to understand how to use each activity in the activity library, how to use them to create your workflows. Workflow Foundation is known as a great workflow platform because it's extensible. With Workflow Foundation, you can create custom services and custom activities. And it adds many benefits to Workflow Foundation. I would even say that you can build any workflow enabled application using Workflow Foundation. And why? Why can you build any application using Workflow Foundation? Because you can create services and activities that deal with your business. They are specific to your application. And what's the deal with uh, custom activities? With custom activities, you can encapsulate the business logic inside the activity and just drag it to your workflow. You can reuse 
the the business logic in many workflows and many different workflows the same logic encapsulated and out there they are creating a, a market of it now you can buy custom activities so you can or create the custom activities to your business or you can create custom activities to sell it just like we have uh, ASP.NET components that you can buy you can buy also custom activities and using the activity library using the out of the box activities that comes with your workflow foundation you can create your custom activities you can use them as base activities and then develop your custom activities besides the business logic when you develop a custom activity you can also define some custom components uh, the first one the designer when the developer drags the activity you can define how it will look in the workflow you can also define your custom validators for instance uh, you have a document approval activity when you, when the developer creates the workflow you want him to define who will approve the document it can be a validator in your activity you can also define the serializer how will your activity be serialized you can also define some code generators to use when the developer uses your activity. So now let's check our last slide out and then we go over a demo. So let's understand the anatomy of an, of an activity. First, the types of activities. We have the basic activity. The basic activity is, uh, is an atomic, atomic operation in your workflow. The base activity doesn't doesn't have uh, any child activity. Different of the composite activity, the composite activity can have as many uh, child activities as necessary. For instance, the if else activity, the if else activity is a is a composite activity because you can drag some activities to your if else branch. Many methods inside the activity need the object activity execution context. So, this object is necessary uh, to make to create a communication between the activity and the runtime, the workflow runtime, to access some services and some informations that are in the workflow instance and the, in the workflow runtime. The activity needs the activity execution context. It's a kind of complex topic, but we will understand better now in our demo. Let's continue developing our page flow solution, today creating a custom activity. So let's start our demo. I will use the same solution I used in the first lesson. I will just add a new project in workflow and it's a workflow activity library it's a project it's a template we have here I will call it page flow activity library okay I have a activity one here I will delete it and I will add my activity add activity I will call it page flow activity so I can drop uh, activities here if I go to my acti activity properties I have the base class I can define if it's an activity or a composed activity it's composed activity and I have other options here and I can drag activities that comes with workflow foundation to my custom activities I will use the same we used in this last lesson so I will drag a handle external event activity and I will drag a call external method activity 